What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a very simple tip to do with Steam. So, as you know, when you start up Steam, you'll automatically be presented with the online mode, and you'll be online on your friends list. I, of course, am signed out here just to show you something that's required for this video. If you'd like to start up Steam, whether you're already logged in or you're logging in fresh, as offline mode, you'll need to make sure that remember my password is checked as we don't want to see the screen over here. If you haven't signed into Steam once already, then signing into offline mode for the first time is going to be a little bit difficult. So as long as you have remember my password checked, simply sign into your Steam account if you haven't already. After signing into your Steam account, you'll notice that you're immediately online in your friends list over here. If you closed Steam with invisible mode enabled, you should log in as invisible automatically. But assuming we want full offline mode, but we don't show up on our friends list or anything like that, how do we do it? Well, to enable offline mode, simply click Steam in the top left and you'll see Go Offline. If we click this, it'll restart Steam as offline mode. Offline mode is used when you're about to unplug your laptop or are otherwise expecting to not be connected to the internet. Many features such as friends and the server browser will not be available while offline. Only games that are fully up to date will be available. Simply clicking restart in offline mode will restart Steam in offline mode automatically. If you'd like to play games with offline mode enabled, simply make sure that you launch up games at least once after installing them and making sure that they work properly. Then when entering offline mode, games should continue to work for up to, I think, 15 or 30 days. Not entirely sure, but eventually you will need to log into Steam again to prove that you still have ownership of those games. You won't be able to play in offline mode forever. But of course, you will need to make sure that Remember Password is checked. If you haven't clicked Remember Password or you're not entirely sure, hit across to Steam followed by Settings. Then make sure you're on the Account tab and then make sure that this checkbox at the very bottom over here is unchecked. Don't save account credentials on this computer. After doing that, you should be able to restart Steam into offline mode by clicking Steam and go offline. But for a second, let's assume that Steam is completely closed and the next time you start it up, it'll automatically put you on this page over here as we asked it to remember our password. We won't have the option to go offline. Say you don't want to appear online for even a millisecond in front of all of your friends or something like that. How exactly do we fix this? Well, assuming Steam is completely closed, we can go ahead and unplug our internet connection, start up Steam, and then tell it to start in offline mode when it presents us with an error saying, would you like to connect to the internet, retry, or start in offline mode. But assuming you wouldn't like to unplug your internet completely just to start up Steam in offline mode, what exactly can we do? I did say assuming Steam is closed, so I'll go ahead and exit out of it completely. Now that Steam's completely closed, I'll simply locate a Steam shortcut. So after finding one or searching for it, I'll click open folder. And if you see the shortcut over here, simply right click and open file location once again. Now we're inside of the Steam installation directory. Head into the config section, scroll down to the very bottom and look for loginusers.vdf. I have multiple files over here as I've been working on a Steam account switcher, which I'll have linked it down in the description below. Either way, opening this file with notepad or another text editor, we'll see a list of all accounts that we've signed into this computer with. Simply scrolling down until you find your current account that you're connected to. Mine is Tyler the Creator over here. All we have to do is look for this line saying once offline mode and change it from zero to one. Of course, if you don't see this line over here, you can simply duplicate that previous line and rename whatever's inside of the first set of quotation marks to be once offline mode and change the second option to a simple one or a zero. After doing that, we can simply save loginusers.vdf and the next time we start Steam, we should be starting in offline mode, even though we didn't check that option or ask it to restart in offline mode. After doing that, we see this over here. Steam is currently set to offline mode. Many features such as friends and the server browser will not be available. I can click go online or start in offline mode. Clicking start in offline mode will start up Steam as such while we're completely offline. Nothing is available and heading across to the store or any other web page, we see that it's currently in offline mode. Our friends list is also currently unavailable. From here, you can either edit the file and change it back to R1, then restart Steam, or you can click Steam and go online. Upon doing that, it'll restart Steam and will automatically be logged in and online once again. But anyways, that's super simple. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.